All right, so today I'm gonna build some jack blocks. I've been watching a few videos and I've I've got the snap pads. It's on my my toy hauler, and they work great when we're on concrete, different subs, uh, different types of terrain. Give me a good sturdy foundation. But what I found is I still need some height to get it up off the ground. And I was looking at the Anderson blocks, but I came across Kevin on Paving New Pass, and he showed how you can use some four by six by eights and a couple of one by six by eights and build your own and put some of this pad that I got at Tractor Supply just like he did and put them all together and build you a block that'll be about six inches which is about what the Anderson block is and save you a good bit of money so I'd been carrying around I don't know if you can see them in there some big six by six post doubling them up putting them underneath the front jacks just so i can get the clearance to get my truck out from under but i believe with these i can put handles on these i'll have them stored in bins in the back of the truck and they'll they'll take the place of the anderson block i'll still leave my jack pads on uh, just in case i'm somewhere where i don't need them need these blocks but if you want to you can uh go to his video I know he, he, he measured these from here to here was 11 and a quarter inches takes two of these two of these and you sandwich them together get them all painted up stained is what he did but I, I think I'm just gonna paint mine as what he did in the video and then you cut out a piece of this pad 11 by 11 sandwich it between those you have one on each side and you'll have a block you put your whole handle on it so won't bore you with the details but I'll go ahead and get these cut, show you what I got, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got all these cut, four by sixes cut down to 11 and a quarter inches. So what we'll end up having is, we'll have two of these, which are cut to 11 and a quarter. And they will go like so, and the end, and these will go on here. that and then you'll have this go on there and then of course you'll get screws here and on the back side we'll get that painted and I got the rubber mat over there laying in the sun getting good and hot so I'll be able to cut through that with a knife and then we'll put a piece of rubber on top of this and one on the bottom side after we get them painted we'll put some handles right here that I got got them up in here and that's all I had left of the waste of the lumber that I bought and that's the handles you can see them there so you have a handle there like so and they fold flat so they're out of the way for easy storage but that'll be it so that'll give you of course you'll have a half inch pad on either side but with the wood material in it of itself, give you five and three quarter inches. So about six, six inches or so, six and a quarter inches. And that ought to be plenty of, of lift. And if I need to, I could stack two of those up, but I don't think I'll ever need more than that because usually one six by six gives me what I need anyway. So hopefully that'll help you. And I'll get all these put together and get them painted and I'll show you the product from there. All right, got all six of them made up. Got them out here in the sun just to let them dry just a little bit because it pressure treated and they were a little, some of the boards were still a little wet. So I'm gonna let them dry out in the sun for a couple hours and I'll come back and paint them. But came together pretty good. much cheaper than Anderson blocks and has a little bigger ground support as well so ground contact but I'll get them painted up I'll go ahead and get the rubber mat cut 11 by 11 squares one for the bottom one for the top and it'll be protected top and bottom and like I said give me about six and a half inches of lift off the ground so 
All right, I'll come back in just a minute and show you what I got. All right, got them all painted up. Got the handles on, got the pads on both sides. So this is the final result. So that's what I got right there. See, I got the pad on the stop, handle, pad on the bottom. So I'll be able to take those and pull them under each jack pad or jack. Give me that much more lifting capability. So the jacks aren't extended all the way out whenever I go to unhook. And I should be good. I'm going to find a way to come up with, I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking at something to how to store those. So they'll be out of the way and possibly on the side of the RV wherever I go to use them. Kind of like how when you work with fire trucks and stuff and jack pads come out, they're usually right there beside the jack. So I'm looking to do the same thing. Maybe make some kind of little bin underneath, slide those in. So stand by for that. I'll see what I can come up with. But pretty thrilled. Thanks to Kevin at Paving New Pass. Can't wait to use them. Can't wait to get on the road and set up and see how we go. But thanks for watching this and hopefully it'll help you out. And again, thanks to Kevin. See you on the road.